have you ever had bad breath? I know that was a little bit dramatic, but have you ever had bad breath? Now I'm talking about breath that you've noticed or even worse, somebody's ever told you about. Now, if you have, this video is for you because today I'm diving into a topic as far as how to eliminate or decrease bad breath. This is your first time watching. My name is Adrian Nguyen and let's get started. I'm going to give you a little background story. When I was in sixth grade, I used to be in the orchestra and I remember one day we were preparing for a concert. It was early in the morning and again, I was in sixth grade, so I was like a little kid. So that early morning, I went ahead and brushed my teeth. I thought everything was fine. But, you know, prepping for a concert, for those who's ever been to orchestra, I played the bass. You have your violas, cellos, violins, and what have you. So it involves a lot of communication just to make sure that everybody is on the same page before the concert. So with that being said, early morning, I brushed my teeth and then later on preparing for a concert. I got into this conversation with this young lady who played the viola. So we're talking and she was very patient, very calm, and it was about five minutes of me just going on and talking and making sure that we're on the same page. And all of a sudden, she just went ahead and just blew up and said, what is up with that morning breath? And that was embarrassing because not only did I feel it, other people heard it and felt it, and she just walked off and it just caused the whole scene. And it was from that moment on, I said, I'm going on the journey to figure out how to eliminate bad breath. From that moment on, I went ahead and talked to my mom. We got set up to talk to some of uh, my doctor, my dentist, and they kind of gave me tips and tricks that helped me. And again, that was from sixth grade, now I'm 25. And along the way, I've learned a little bit more that helped me eliminate bad breath. Here's a disclaimer. Everybody has their bad days, okay? So some days you may have your bad days, but I'm just talking about generally overall, this will help you if you just stay consistent. Here leads me to number one. Number one is making sure that you prioritize your nutrition. So when I went and talked to my doctor, my doctor asked me, have you ever passed gas or used a number two and it just smelled really bad? I said yes. And she told me that that was a good indicator to let you know if you have bad breath. See how it works is, is whatever's inside of you, it comes out in some type of way so if you, like I said, if you pass gas, use a number two, or even if you burp, there's times where it smells pretty bad and you've noticed that there's times where it doesn't even smell like anything. Those are indicators on the combinations of food that you're eating or even what you're eating in general to tell you if that works for your body or if it doesn't work for your body. So incorporate some of your micros. So eat your greens, your fruits, Make sure that you're paying attention to what your body's telling you. She said that that's a sign to let you know what your body wants and it doesn't want. See what works for you. If you eat something later on and it smells really bad, either, you know, either way it comes out, then that's an indicator. That's something that you shouldn't be eating. And if it doesn't really even smell like anything, then you're on the right track. Which leads me to number two. This is something that I've been practicing a lot more lately. Um, I used to go to the dentist when I was younger and they told me to floss your teeth. And that's something that I was like, oh, okay. Like I brush my teeth every day, of course, but flossing my teeth was something that it always kind of hurt. I didn't, made me feel uncomfortable. I don't like doing it. So me being an adult, I said, you know what? I'm going to take my, you know, my, my smile and my teeth more seriously. So what I'm going to do is floss every day, but not only every day, every couple of, every like two times a day. The reason why I say floss is whenever you eat something, whether it be meat, if you're a vegetarian, it could be greens, even garlic, it could get stuck in your teeth. And that's not a good look for either just look in general, if you have like something stuck in your teeth or the smell, if you have something stuck in your teeth and you don't floss or even know about it, it could kind of decay in your mouth and it could just send off a bad smell. Have you ever left something out like you left out lettuce? In the fridge, that's even still a green. You left out lettuce out the fridge, and all of a sudden, like as time goes by, it starts to smell kind of funky. The same thing could be happening in your mouth. So you want to make sure that you floss your teeth. I say at least once a day, but I do twice a day, whatever works for you, but really prioritize flossing your teeth. Number three, please, 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 when I tell you this is something that people don't really notice or even think about, but you want to make sure 
that you scrape your tongue. Number three is scrape your tongue. The reason why I say that is because, yes, brush your teeth at least once a day. I do mine twice a day, morning and night, but you want to make sure that you want brush your tongue and then two, scrape your tongue. The reason why I say that is because the bacteria primarily exist on your tongue. So as the day goes on, the air that you breathe, whatever, that's my little daughter right there. So as you go throughout the day, bacteria, it just sits on your tongue and that is what's causing some of the bad breath. Now we talked about the insides of your stomach. That's primarily one, but then two, what's left is the bacteria. And if you have bacteria just sitting on your tongue, then you need to eliminate it. Let me show you something that I got from Amazon. So this is something that I use to scrape my tongue. Now, again, I got this from Amazon. You could go ahead and find like a tongue scraper on Amazon for relatively cheap. I think I got this maybe, maybe like 10 bucks. Really, um, you know, I got it as a two pack, so I'm not really sure on the price. But how it works is you just take this groove right here and you just scrape off all the bacteria. So like I said, one, brush your tongue brush your tongue with you know toothpaste of your choice and then two just go ahead and scrape all that bacteria off when you get done here is my last point you want to make sure that you use alcohol free mouthwash this is something i learned from my dentist the reason why they say alcohol free mouthwash is because when you use alcohol it could dry out your mouth and it could kind of work counterintuitively they say it leaves fresh breath but after a while, you kind of have a dry mouth and it doesn't leave fresh breath. So you want to use alcohol free mouthwash that can that doesn't dry out your mouth and it leaves your breath smelling good. Here is something that I use and I use this once a day, maybe twice a day in the morning or at night. I work from home. So however I choose to do it, maybe I just got done eating lunch. Maybe I want to use mouthwash. So these are all tips and tricks to be able to eliminate bad breath i hope you learned something uh again i learned this when i was in sixth grade and it took a lot of trial and error um i'm glad it, it was bittersweet that i had that experience where that girl blew up on me but it was still um something to learn from because if it wasn't for that then i'm sure i probably would have got told later on but i learned how to um manage you know my breath and really learn some stuff that's really advantageous for me and look at me i'm sharing it with you guys so if you like anything that I say, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.